If installing vapor pipe shield on an existing system, depressurize the entire sprinkler system to atmosphere. If using a tank-mounted air compressor, ensure the tank is drained. If desired, install the optional vapor indicator test port directly after the pre-installed shutoff valve on the vapor pipe shield unit. First, mount the upper clamp to the wall using appropriate hardware. Recommended mounting height is just about eye level. Next, push the topmost module of the vapor pipe shield unit into the upper clamp and close completely, letting the unit hang suspended. Then lift the unit slightly, taking weight off the clamp, and mount the vapor pipe shield unit. The attached wall brackets are 16 inch on center. Now you can pipe the vapor pipe shield unit directly in line between the air supply and sprinkler system valve, but before any air maintenance device, if one is utilized. Confirm that all four filter drain ports on the vapor pipe shield unit are set to the closed position by tightening the knobs in the direction marked S. Then, with the pre-installed shutoff valve closed, turn on the air supply to pressurize the vapor pipe shield unit. Next, connect the supplied plastic tubing to the four auto drain ports and route to a drain or container. If using an air maintenance device, set it to bypass mode and prepare to pressurize the sprinkler system. Slowly open the pre-installed shutoff valve to begin pressurizing the sprinkler system. If the vapor pipe shield unit is supporting more than one system, pressurize each system one at a time. If desired, a vapor indicator test may be performed during the fill process. For instructions on this process, refer to the user manual. When supervisory pressure is reached, initiate standard operation of the sprinkler system. If utilizing an air maintenance device, place in maintenance or regulator mode and set to the proper operating pressure.